everybody, Herb Jabai and Walrus, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play A Hat in Time. In the last episode, we finished up Subcon Wood, showing you off everything I needed to show you off right now. And in this part, I'm gonna see if I can do this again? It didn't work again! Hmm. Maybe I need to put the... This first? Oh my goodness, you need to put the spaceship first? Are you kidding? Okay, fine. All right, let's see what it says. But it's gonna give me uh, the Subcon Forest one. Okay, cool. Fine, fine, let's see what it says. Mockery of planet life. What the heck? Spaceships don't look like that. Where's the wood? Why is it sucking up cows? This is insulting, I'm gonna sue. That's fantastic. Uh, so your, your next one is here in the art room. So, just in case you needed to find it. I know where the last one is, and it's exactly where we need to go next, which is uh, the New World um, Alpine Incline. So just go backwards, and you're in this room, and I'll find it. Actually, come to think of it, I didn't uh, talk about here. A tiny train and birds? This looks like a tiny version of the train the birds use to get to work. Are there tiny birds in there? Do they make tiny movies? I don't have time to deal with this tiny bird society. What was everything in air quotes? Okay, so now we're in Alpine Incline. Uh, this is the engine room where she gets all her stuff done. So um, let's use the dweller mask to go in here, because once we do... Uh, you'll be able to pass through just fine. Can I repair this, or is it too much money? Too much money! So, we'll have to do that later when I have more pawns. Uh, instead, see, yeah, there's a wall here. You need a dweller mask to get through. And, in order to get to the new area, you need a specific item, and that would be the grapple hook. The grapple hook is kind of very much needed for the last world of the game, and we'll be able to show you how and why. This world is entirely free roam. It does have a lot of time pieces, but you get to go wherever you want to do whatever you want first. I'm just going to do like the things that I see we can start off with and just go from there. It's really that simple. Also, I like this artwork. It's real cute. Welcome to Alpine Incline. That's what it's called, right? Mind of my mind? I'll find Skyline! Uh. The answer is yes, I am out of my mind. Alright, so let's take off this mask and put on Kid's hat. Because we can actually climb up here! I like the entrance to this world. It's pretty... It's really, really mystical. So let's go. Up, up, up. So we're still in the entrance point. How are we going to get in? Well, you'll find out in a second. Ring the bell. Uh, keep ringing the bell, I guess. There we go. Ring it enough and the door will open. Now you can move forward. Uh, okay, that that wasn't worth it. Hop, uh, pop, hop, pop. Hop, uh, pop, hop, pop. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, hop, hop. That flag was glitching. Hooray. Okay. I didn't know I was above the ground. I thought I was going to die. Grab. Grab. Keep on going. There's tons of pawns and stuff in here. So, really, I'm probably going to end up getting the relics soon. Uh, I saw you. Just go around you. Whatever. So, yeah, we're going higher. And higher. Well, actually, we'll really be able to free roam once we actually get into the place. Because, as you remember, what I said before... Well, let's spin this. Knock this into the ground. Uh, is there more than one? Yeah, there is. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why didn't the cutscene play? Slam that one. And the last one's over here. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. So, now, we can slide ourselves with our grappling hook. Where are we going? We can go left and right. We can't let go, no matter how much you want to. <laughs> you want to let cat kid, cat kid fall into the abyss? Uh, that's your beef. So here's Alpine Skyline. I feel like Alpine Incline is the name of something else, now that I think about it. It's got a ring to it that, like, I'm just like, okay, uh, what's that from? And, uh, one of our timepieces. Is there, you can see them glimmering 
off on to the like the east each of the like respective islands on the right and on the left you can see the time pieces so there we are alpine skyline here we are so we can run around talk to people hello we don't know much about the goats up here but we tried to give them a wide berth if you get in their way, they uh, tend to be a bit pushy. <laughs> and by pushy, she means they'll kill you. So don't get in a goat's way, and they won't kill you. It's pretty even trade, I guess, unless you really just want to get in a goat's way. This fourth world has no story. Eh, that's not entirely true. I don't want to be entirely mean to it. So yeah, very right. Uh, you'll find horns scattered throughout the map. And if you blow them, you'll open up new ways to go. Yeah, I know, I know. If you swing towards a certain path, you'll be able to go down different routes. Also, Badge Man's over here. <coughs> Excuse me, holy crap. Everything I sell is a... Yeah, I also sell terrible badges, I'm aware. You die in one hit, no more bonking against walls while diving. I want that, but I don't have the pawns for it. You need a lot of pawns to get everything in this game. Twilight Bell, huh? That's pretty cool. Uh, let's use Ice Hat. Flop over here. Boom! You're gonna eventually have to unlock different paths. Do they? That's the, the, that, they, the, the, that one wasn't lying. The birds of the birdhouse do still shiny things. Hop, 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 hop. Right now, I'm searching for a horn. You need the horns to move on. And if, you're, if you get in the way of these goats when they're walking around, they will just slap you. And you'll get knocked off the building. I mean, knocked off this big, uh... Mountain? Hmm, skyline? Yeah, that sort of thing. It's good to talk to you. Do you have something fun to say? Hop, hop. No, I mean you. Oh, this is the same person. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know how this place works. This place does not have any story. It's widely considered to be an afterthought level. I won't, wouldn't say I wholly agree with that, because the platform challenger is still fun, and this is in and of itself a platformer. Why don't we blow the horns ourselves? Up this high, the air is really thin. It's hard for us to take deep enough breaths. It doesn't seem to bother you, though. She might not even breathe air for as long as we know. So blow this first horn. And, any day now, we'll get your first path to the old windmill. And that'll be the first one I challenge. Also, another one leading to the birdhouse. And another one, actually, I think that one just controls all of them. Now that I think about it. It's starting to look that way, huh? <laughs> I thought there was just more of them. So yeah, as you can see, there's five branching path pathways, and we'll need to get, traverse all of them as time goes on. Yeah, I know, I know. So Goat Village is all the way done, so you don't have to worry about it. So we're going to go to the windmill first, so let's use this blue tether. Hello? I'm aware, you told me three times. So uh, just swing towards things you want. You can swing towards these, but remember you have the magnet badge, so they will come to you eventually. I think. So uh, it also tells you what you need in each area. Uh, once you know these areas, they're a lot nicer. Also, those bridges that are, are like easy to see fall. So that's not fun. So there's a horn at the top. We can climb up. So this whole place is just a platforming playground. But I will agree at some point, this game felt like a, like it's got a beautiful narrative with its um, storytelling. Because you saw I was gushing over the second and third worlds and how like funny the writing was and how cool the characters were. This level just is full of the nice platforming you've come to know, but with none of the story. It's a, it's a little upsetting, to be honest, but eh, I, I can't really look an extra world in the mouth and be like, you know what, this is nothing. But if anything, it's a big part of the story. I mean, not a big part of the story. If anything, it's a big part of the game. Really kind of fun to traverse. if you. Well, I mean, if, I guess if you didn't know your way around, it'd be kind of annoying. I, I could see that being a problem. Some of these bridges are old. 
the other person didn't tell me that, but you told me that before we even realized that the bridges were old in the first place. So that's not very nice. Uh, hop over here. More birds. And climb up here. Can I kill you guys? Yeah, I can. Easy. Um, do I go over there? Where do I head? It looks like I head over there. Also, there's a rope leading over there, so... Can I grab- Ah! I, che I cheated the system and got up higher than I needed to do. Cool. Some of these platforms are a little hard to stand on. There we go, there's the horn. Honk. I think I, like, magneted towards the horn, which is really funny. So you'll be leading yourself to more time pieces as time goes on. This, uh, these flags lead off onto the left side. Awesome. I cleared goat at that fifth horn. So that's pretty easy. So hop there and hop there and you'll come back to where you were. I, I'm glad they, like, knew to, like, give you quick routes and stuff. Plus this, like, whole scenic thing is really pretty. I'll, I'll give this level this. It's really creative, uh, visual-wise, and really cool. It's pretty. I also like the music. I like the kind of small town rustic theme. It reminds me of like Pianta Village and Super Mario Sunshine. Um, basically the music. Some of the areas do too, honestly. So, if you're into that, <laughs> it's nice. So the Windy Passage. Uh, you'll be introduced to these uh, like flower looking things right here. Um, I, I think they do hurt you if you stand on them in a certain way, but this windmill takes you all the way up. Just grab it and you'll be able to get all the way up. <laughs> so, head up here. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. Uh, where does this lead me? I honestly don't know. Down there? I guess that's a different passageway. Oh, that'll lead you to one of the cat villages. Those cats we saw in picture paintings earlier. And, um, there's a horn over there. Oh, so I need to go over there to get to the new area. Alright, fine. So, yeah, this is... <laughs> Never mind, this is totally the only timepiece I'm doing today. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Alright, let's give you the wide berth that uh, I should give you. So you don't knock me over. Hop. Hop, hop. There we go. And I can open this chest. Roof token? Yarn. Time stop yarn! There we go! That is the last hat you need to stitch. And you need 40. 40, 40, 40 of them in order to stitch it. That is the one, that is the last hat we need in order to win the big race in Mafia Town. I will try it without the hat when, when the time comes, but I'm going to wait until we actually get the hat first. So I don't, you know, waste your time. I know, you can just see it. I saw it through the binoculars. I had special eyes to help me find them. So yeah, it tells you what's here. Uh, she's not lying, because these cats are annoying in the sense. Look around for them. They're invisible! As you can see right there, there's one of the cats. They'll steal shit from you. So, you can hit them if you can see them, and then you can get your shit back. Uh, I highly recommend just speeding through the level and ignoring them entirely, because they are really irritating to deal with going into the cat village. There's one right there. Just ignore them and head up here. We'll have to come back into the cat village to do, uh, time rifts later. So, that's a little annoying. Yeah, some of them steal your hats. So you have to kill them and get the hat back. Alright, there we go. Gotcha. I, am. Um, I was sliding across the ground without moving my legs, if you saw that. That was really funny. And here's the horn. I can't imagine that much air coming out of this little girl. That sounds like... Like, that loud of a noise, too? I can't imagine that. Curly Tail Horn Trial. Trial. That... Ugh, that doesn't rhyme! Or, it might be the trail of where we're going. And the... It might not have... I, okay, I didn't see. It might have been trial. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Okay, let's fly back here. Because we got another pathway we can take now. Head back up here. And then we can go all the way up there to take the brand new path. Whee! Boop! 
I like the ice hat. It's pretty cool. I think it might also make you invulnerable, because I started thinking about, like, uh, the Battle of the Birds uh, fight again, and how many hits it takes. Maybe the ice hat will make you invulnerable to, like, the diving attack. I probably should have tried, in hindsight. Eh, come see, come saw. It's whatever. Because I actually don't know if it does make you invulnerable or not. So, uh, you're you're gonna get these, like, little things. It tells you where your time... Like, you can see the timepiece is, like, right at the top of the windmill, so it's gonna take a little bit of a cr climb. Yes, must be quite a climb to the top. Uh, see? Uh, you can see, like, the middle part. I couldn't really do anything there. But, we're gonna be hooking ourselves over there first. Hook. 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 I think this is the longest and hardest one you'll have to deal with. Other than the actual final mission of this world. Because there is technically a finale. You'll, you'll get to come back and see it. That's why I said there... That's why I didn't, uh... Technically want to lie about there being a story. Because there is... In a sense? Yeah, you'll see as time goes on. But, uh... As for right now. You're just introduced to a clock tower. And your timepiece is at the top. So go get it. That's basically it. <laughs> Alright. So you're in a giant clock. Uh... Is this a clock tower or just a tower? Hmm. I'm not sure anymore. But, um... Oh. A uh, hop. Hop. Climb? There we go. Those, uh, certain... Also, there's checkpoints. That's cool. So this is... I swear, this could have been its own, like, thing. They could have made a little story. I have faith in them. They could have made a fun story out of this. Like, they could have made, uh, the goats more, uh, intuitive. Uh, more specific to the place around them. Be really cool. All right. Oh, I need dwellers. I need dwellers. I swear I switched to it. Sometimes it just doesn't give you the mask you want in the right time, and it's a little annoying. Come on. You can run out of time on these sections, so I gotta hurry. Come on. Oh, you're leading me to something. Cool. So I do have all the relics now. So I'm only really getting rift tokens and stuff. Ding. 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 Okay, so uh, it opens a door back to where I was back up. <laughs> really? You gonna do me like that game? Okay, so there's the door that opens so we can head back up here. Oh, Great. There we go, I made it! And now we can actually go in this door. Because that's where we're actually supposed to go. <laughs> Uh, so I think if you fall from here, you will, uh, go... Like, you remember the Battle of the Birds section when we were going straight upward, and I, um, kept losing lives whenever I was going for that piece? I think it'll happen the same way here. Is this gold? What is this? I feel like this is probably, like, bird seed or something. Eh, it's probably bird seed. Come on. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. There we go. I... Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Alright. Wait for this to turn. I like these plat- I like this, uh, place's platforming challenge. Indeed. I think it's really neat. Oh, that, uh, this is going in, a, like, a full, like, rectangular pattern. Also, what is that guy doing there? Was he for something, like, earlier? I can't remember. It's whatever. Uh, is there something over here that I can get? Do I have to jump down from a certain place? I don't see an entrance. I found the entrance. <laughs> Blur brewing at. For you. Alright, give me all these pawns. Okay, now I have enough to get that hat piece. Uh, now I can go back in the front of this. And see what that is. Probably a yarn. And I need it. Uh, more time stop yarn. Cool. Now I'm up here. I guess I can go this way again? Oh, uh, because we need to go this way. Hop off this. Uh, do this again. That was cool. I'm, I'm glad they made that work. Fuck you! <laughs> hop, hop. You grab it. That kid is really nimble, so it's like... Flapping her with her is a dream. I'll, if that had hit me, I probably would have screamed. Okay. Uh, so with this one, you're going to want to hit buttons back and forth. Uh, each button moves the other one forward, so you just hit another one, hit another one, hit another one, that's what 
Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Now everything's over here. Uh, I forget where you fall from again in order to get to the height spot that you need to be in. Um, this you climb up, so I just need to wait for it to be over here. There we go. Good. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Over here. Brewing. Boop. Give me a lot more pawns. I, no, I missed one. Whatever. All right. There we go. Now we're up to the top. Closer to the top of the windmill. God, this place is huge. That, uh, that uh, little native wasn't lying when they said this would be a tough climb. Hmm. Oh, I have to wait for it to come back. Or... What the... God! Okay. Dead! Yes, thank you! Okay, that's what I wanted to do. So you need to use these to get over here. Up. Give me more pawns. The magnet is so helpful. It's quite easily my favorite. Uh, will I make that jump? Yeah, I will. Cool. Especially since Hat Kid can double jump. Hat Kid is the scout. I just realized. Good job, Hat Kid. Your force of nature. Come on. I'm, head I'm heading towards the end. There we go. Now we're on the outside of here. Up. Alright, we made it. Another checkpoint. Cool. I haven't gotten hit by those guys, like, barely at all in this game. And now, I'm just just a magnet to them. Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh! These are... Oh my god, I can't believe I did die. <laughs> That's awesome! I landed on the widget! I forget what those are called. Turner? Uh, Fulcrum? I know I'm using the right word eventually. Uh, pulley! Oh my god. I had- I used, like, common words for, like, physics in, instead of the right word pulley. Am I out of my mind? Don't answer that. Okay, so now there's another entrance right here that we didn't get to before. We can go in here. And another checkpoint. This place is tall. <laughs> Gonna be in here for a long time. Great. At least I got to the point where it was like, you know what? I'll send you back to where you were. Hop on you, because I don't want to lose again. All right, go this way. Come on. All right, wait for these gears. Maybe turn the camera. This. My TV went black for a second, and I almost screamed. I, d I don't know what the deal is with that, but it went black for like half a second, and I almost lost. I probably would have killed somebody. There's nobody here, but, it, you know, I probably would have just went out and just murdered. Don't take that piece out of this Okay. Another checkpoint. They're really generous with them, thank God. Come on, let's get up here. Up here. Alright, here's another platform. Come on. Going up! Come on, hop up here. Oh my god. Oh god, land on the platform! Great. Okay. 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 Oh, my head. Okay. Maybe I just do that. It'd be a little more safer. There we go! And all the way at the top of the clock tower is our timepiece. Holy cow. That was something else. I promise they could have came up with like a nice story for this place, but I digress. But we got our first timepiece of this place, and that was a whole episode life. Eh, not necessarily. I know I cleared the windmill. So once you clear an area, these flowers bloom. And the little seeds go into the noses of these goats? Hmm. Peculiar. But for now, let's return to Hub. Because I want to use that last place so we can get the last purple time rift. Alright. I'll show you guys again, just in case you didn't know, remember where I said to go. Uh, back through this room. And here's the last stand. Activate it. With your 200 pawns. Box. And crayons. There we go. That's our last relic. 
And the last purple one's going to appear in Alpine Incline. There we go. Cool. All right, let's read it. These were made for vandalism. Definitely. I feel compelled to take these and draw on everything. I can only conclude that this vandalism toolkit must be illegal. That makes this relic extra rare. If only the package hadn't been opened. Only a monster would open the package of a rare item. That's true. <laughs> it's like uh, Amiibos or, something, or uh, Rare Toys. So, anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. Herpter by Walrus, and next time, we're going to be taking on more of Alpine Incline. See you then.